Hey guys, welcome to Five Before. I am Kay Simpson. I just wanted to share a little bit today about some soul care. Um, do you guys regularly make like an annual visit to your physician? You know, everybody's talking about I'm going on my annual visit. It's a yearly thing that I do. You know, we have our car, we have our oil change on a regular basis, you know, things that need scheduled maintenance we take care of. So my idea that I kind of uh, lean into at this time of year is like an end of the year soul check in. Um, how is it with my soul? And are we satisfied with where we are? Do we feel peaceful or are we weary, anxious and distraught? Um, and what has brought us here to this point? And do we remember our year fondly? Um, or do we look back and say, peace out, we're kind of done with this year. And so in Jeremiah 3125 in the message version, it says, I'll refresh tired bodies. I'll restore tired souls. And in the um, ESV version, it says, I will satisfy the weary soul and every languishing soul I will replenish. So that's just something great to lean into. And um, so what I wanted to suggest is could we take some time and do a soul inventory? So, at, you know, at work, at a lot of businesses, you have to do an annual inventory. I remember sitting and counting syringes and needles at the surgery center I used to work with. So let's do a soul inventory. Pray for the Lord to search our soul and then replenish it, replenish us, and pray to Him to show us clearly what is happening in our soul and in our lives. Take some time to sit still, take a deep breath, and remember. I heard someone explain it this way. Ask Him to remember us. Remember. So take the broken pieces, the broken scattered pieces of our lives and our year even, and rearrange them to where they should be in the correct order and their place. God is with us in this. He is not just at the finish line waiting for us to finish. He makes the crooked path straight and restores our weary souls. So how do we check in and remember our year? For me, it's kind of practical. I have to. Uh, I have a practice I call journaling. It's, I call it a spiritual practice, and I write it all down. It's an amazing tool. It's important for me to write it down so I can look back and I can remember myself and reference the words if needed. When I remember when I was in nursing school, they told us if it wasn't written in the chart, it just didn't happen. And that's kind of how it is for me. If I don't write it down, I just don't remember. Um, so we can use it as part of our quiet time, sit with our journal, kind of sit, get curious, um, put together some questions if you need a prompting, because sometimes you just sit and you can't think of anything. Um, so here are some questions that I found, see if any of them ring true with you. Kind of start with what are we thankful for? And look for a verse. Um, ask the Lord to show you a verse. Uh, for Advent, I'm reading through Luke because there's a, a verse um, a chapter for each day of the month. So I'm doing that. So pick something that resonates with you. What stood out after you read it? What are you learning about God? How could this change how we live our lives? You know, does it change anything once you've read it? And write down our prayers. A friend of mine loves to write it down so that she can look back and remember how God answered it. And it's documented and she's got, you know, proof for her to remember. Is there anything I need to ask forgiveness for from God or make amends for? And write about how our soul is that day. Ask God to help us. That way we are constantly aware of how God is working. Review the day before. Like if it's Wednesday, I'm going to review Tuesday, how it went, how I felt about it, how my soul is. So instead of waiting for the end of the year, I can kind of do a day in review. Um, so how are we feeling about all those questions or whatever questions that we choose and just write it down, start writing, take some time to listen when you're finished and see what God has to say, what he has to reveal that if you're like me, I just kind of rush through, write, 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 and then don't take the time to sit and listen. So I think that's kind of an important point. And when he does, uh, reveal something to you, write that down too. You know, it's just a new habit. Because for me, I want to be uh, spiritually healthy as well as physically healthy. So let's, you know, I think new habits are always good to start at the end of the year. One of my goals for this year I had written down was to show up as the best version of myself for God's kingdom, God's best. So now I'm looking back, I'm doing a soul checkup. Was Am I living it out? What adjustments do I need to make? Um, one of my mentors, she goes back through her whole journal for the year and documents all the big events. And then just, it's amazing how quickly we forget. 
So just this morning, I went back to where God had revealed something to me back in November, and it lined up perfectly with what I have been journaling today. And I was just stunned at how it all made sense. But if I hadn't written it down, I would not have remembered. I would have forgotten how he showed up and showed out. So it's just a good tool for me because I feel like this life is a sacred work and it takes I take it pretty seriously. So I just want to throw this question out there for all of us. How is it with our soul? And would you be willing to do a soul inventory um, as the year ends? So Psalm 108 says, I will sing praises even with my soul. And Psalm 132 says, Surely I have quieted and calmed my soul. So I'm going to pray for us, and I just ask that you contemplate what I've said today. Oh, Lord, um, I ask that you help us quiet our soul, quiet our thoughts, and focus on you. Show us any tools, any verses that can help us look back and remember this year and this week and yesterday, and just how you showed up, and how we're so thankful, and any goals or anything we have looking forward to for the next year, I just ask that you um, show us the way, show us your way. In your precious name we pray. Amen.